Hi, my name is Rhonda. I work for Disability Network Lakeshore. And I was thinking about how to have some fun during this pandemic. And I don't want to spend a lot of money. So I got a cardboard box, put a little bit of wrapping paper on it, cut some holes in it. Small holes are worth more than the large holes. I made this bean bag with just extra material that I had in my sewing kit. And there's corn in it, because corn is inexpensive. And you just throw them toward the box and see if you get any points. Little balls you can get at the dollar store. Ooh, three points. You can throw them any way you like. Uh-oh. Two cardboard boxes. Some are closer, some are smaller. You can have a variety. Throw your balls in your bean bags, score some points. Keep the kids entertained for, I don't know, 10 minutes. If you don't have any wood at home, you could get a cardboard box, take it apart. This one I got at Lowe's for like two bucks. Fits in your car. You could make something similar to this that I made out of wood. It's just a cheap, inexpensive piece of wood. Go to Lowe's, they'll cut it for you. You can take an eight by a four by eight sheet, have it cut in half, it'll fit right in your back seat. I made some holes with my jigsaw. They don't even have to be perfect. Put any kind of sticker you like on there. I got all of these buckets from the dollar store at Halloween time. Buckets go in the holes. And again, I have bean bags. I have balls. Balls don't work very well, they bounce out. Bean bags work Whoa. much better. We have a carnival at our house around Christmas time. St. Patrick's Day, you go to the dollar store and buy a hat for a buck. Package of cups, hot glue gun. People like hot glue guns. I love hot glue guns. You can take a ball, stuffed animal. And the game can be either get it on your own head. Oh, this is really better. Or you can get partner and try to throw it onto their head. I have plungers. Clean plungers. Got them from the dollar store, buck a piece. Got this ball at the dollar store. What you try to do is get a partner. You run around the tree, around the circle, through the sprinkler, pass it off. The other person does the same course, pass it off. And if you have four people playing, whoever can do it with the least amount of drops could be the winner, the person who does it the quickest, however you like. This game is a target game also. PVC coupling, very inexpensive. I spray painted it. Took my hot glue gun and just glued them on the board anywhere I wanted. This one was for my grandson's birthday party. You're supposed to have large marshmallows. I have small marshmallows. Doesn't matter, the kids eat them as they play if you have children. Take your marshmallows, toss them into the coupling. We do the big one's worth one point, medium's worth two points, and the small one's worth three points. However you like to play. Then you have to pick up all your marshmallows. It's easier with the big ones. The last game that I made is just the same board, pieces of board. That'll make all four games of a four by eight sheet. I took inexpensive cups that I got at the dollar store, used a screw, screwed them onto this board, lean it up against whatever you like. You could put a leg on it if you want. We got little stuffed animals. You can throw them toward the cups. Oh, really little stuffed animal. And they can score, the top is the hardest, the middle is the 
easier and then the easiest ones are at the bottom. So however you like to score them. This one I actually made to stand up on its own. I took a piece of scrap wood that I had, attached it to the back, used the hinge and a leg on it so that you could lean it wherever you like, as hard as you want it or easier. The more it lays down, the easier the game is because marshmallows will stay in it better. All right, think of some games on your own. Try to be inventive. Use inexpensive materials. It makes it more fun. And have fun during this pandemic scoring points at your own carnival games. See you later. Bye.